Adipose filling, a simple technique for the permanent aesthetic correction of noses that have undergone surgery. Noses that have undergone multiple surgery or been traumatized can often be corrected by means of adipose filling, which involves grafting living adipose and stromal cells prepared with the adipose pima. Once the preoperative design has been carefully drawn out, the cell suspension is injected into the nasal pyramid, where it corrects the volume deficits. It also exerts a potent trophic action on the scar tissues of the nose. In the adipofilling procedure, liposuction is carried out under local anesthesia with a modified Klein solution. The aspiration cannulas have a diameter of 4 mm or 3 mm. If small quantities are to be injected, the lobular aspirate is washed with lactate ringer solution in the aspiration syringe in order to eliminate blood, local anesthetic and epinephrine. Blood is particularly irritating owing to the presence of iron. Washing is continued until the liquid becomes clear. The fat lobules are clearly visible in the syringe. The washed lipoaspirate is poured into a beaker where it will be fragmented with the adipopima. To achieve thorough fragmentation, a volume of about 25% of lactate ringer solution is added to the lipoaspirate. The adipopima is an e economical disposable device. Once the protection has been removed from the thin ceramic blade, the bell end of the device is immersed in the washed lipoaspirate and the lobules of the adipose tissue are fragmented. Small clumps of cells and single cells are separated atraumatically by the aspiration vortex created by the adipopima. Fragmentation takes only a few seconds. The cell suspension obtained is then poured into two syringes equipped with plugs, which are centrifuged at 400 RPM for four minutes. Low-speed centrifugation does not damage the adipose cells and concentrates the cellular suspension. After centrifugation, the white layer of stromal cells can be seen at the bottom, immediately above the ringer solution. At the top, a thin layer of oil is seen, indicating that the procedure has caused little damage. The oil comes from the rupture of the adipocytes. A sharp needle, therefore, has to be inserted in order to complete the volume correction. Correction is carried out by following the preoperative design, which must precisely mark all the volume deficits of the nose. In conclusion, adipose filling proves to be a precious technique for the aesthetic improvement of the nose following primary and secondary rhinoplasty procedures. To access this material, you must subscribe to the crpub.org medical video journal. Subscription is free and reserved for medical doctors only.